Hello and welcome to another art side talk. My name is Diogo Landó. I'm an artist from Portugal uh, and I'm also the host of this podcast. Today I have the pleasure to welcome uh, Alain Francoeur, a French Canadian artist. Uh, hello Alain, how are you? Hi. to talk with you about your artwork and about uh, your uh, your life and your experience in the art world uh, but uh, first I want to introduce your artwork to, to the people who are watching us so how do you describe your art? Uh, I, I do lots of different arts like that one here it's abstract mm -hmm. I did that with toy I do a digital like you saw I do digital art like uh, those kind of portrait I'm a framer I do my own frame, like that. I do okay. my own frame. I do my own furniture, like that here, like that piece there. Uh, in style, it's very uh, colorful, very pop art almost. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. My style. Everybody said uh, my style is pop art. You know, I have a, uh, I'm 64. I'm 64 years old. I have a big influence with the pop arts, with Andy Warhol and stuff like that. Uh, Roy Lichtenstein, I don't know if you know him. Yes. Yeah, I, I love those kind of art. That's for sure my color it was big influence by those kind of artists. I was introduced to your work through Instagram uh, and uh, I find it find very, very interesting. And also uh, a little bit of psychedelic almost. Sometimes I can see yeah, a little bit of psychedelic. Yeah. Um, but uh, one of the things I, I think it's very interesting is that you do a lot of uh, mediums. You work with uh, mini sculptures, uh, collage, toys, uh, digital painting. Uh, why did you have the necessity to, to go through all these mediums? Uh, I've always been like that. I'm a multidisciplinary artist. I, I love to explore any, any kind, uh, any difference of the medium of... You know, when I work too long for one kind of arts, I'm a bit bored, I switch to another one. And I switch to another one. Uh, it's always like that. And, and now, now because I'm old and uh, I'm a, I have a big clientele in Montreal, I'm a bit of a well-known in Montreal, and now I have a client in every section of my art. You know, I have a piece of furniture to do, I have a frame to do for somebody. And somebody won the digital, and the, you know, I'm busy in all my my different. Media. Yes. And do you have a, a main theme through your body of artwork, or uh, it's also changing through through mediums and through through time? You know, I have lots of things. Me, I work slow. I don't work fast. And I start uh, working on so something, and I quit for maybe six, seven months. And I put that on my my place there, for for those those are painting. And when when I'm bored, and one morning I'm bored, I don't know what to do. I just go there and I find one and I finish it. So it's a it's an artwork that comes from the moment. If it's very uh, full of expression from the moment, from what you are feeling. Almost all my art are like that, but some are really I think of what I, what I want to do. Most of the time, it's uh, it's uh, passionate. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm one day I, I'm, I I wake up early in the morning and tap, I do something. Very well. Um, so I want to go back a little bit in your uh, in your life and uh, go back in time and uh, want to to start to understand where did you begin with uh, working with art and uh, and how uh, the art career happened to you. So I read that you had a, a 30 year period that you did not exhibit it or worked as a professional artist. Is that correct? Yeah, me. I have a com long, complicated life. Okay. Uh, you know, in seventies and eighties, I was a big star in Montreal, artist star. Well, no, I, I was making tons of money, clients, and everything, and, and everything. But on that time, I was uh, not really happy with my life because I was, uh, I don't know, too long to explain. You know, I have, uh, you know, eighties. Just think of the 80s people, how the, the life was on that time. 
And my dad, he was living in Mexico. Uh, and he said, uh, you know, Alain, you're so thin, you're going to, you, 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 you're dying. I was trying to say, I'm rich, blah, 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 blah. He said, no, look at you, you're dying. You're so thin. You came to Mexico and relax a bit. Stop your life. Stop drinking and stuff like that, you know, relax. And I go there, I pass eight months in uh, Puerto Vallarta, and I decide to change the life. Uh, and my dad, he was, uh, my dad was a, a well-known person in, in politics in, uh, in Canada. And he said, okay, you find me a job in accountant firms. And I worked for 30 years in accountant firms. Okay. And, uh, yeah. And, but I didn't quit arts. I was creating, but not selling. Yeah. Not doing any, anything for 10 years. Just creating, just because I'm a, I'm a creator. And after that, the, the, the creation came to the client. The, I returned to exhibit, but with my new life, with my boyfriend, new life, my new house and everything. And, uh, and now that's the result of that. Uh, so sober and better. <laughs> okay. So I, I also read that uh, you are uh, an anti-conformist. What do you mean by an anti-conformist? Do you, it's about anti-conformist in your artwork, in the research you do as a visual artist or in, in the system uh, for the art world and for politics? But you, you look at me now, I'm a good looking boy, not too bad, but uh, you know, you have, to, you have to know in the 70s, I was 15, in 1914, in 1970s. That's mean in the 70s, I was an hippie. Yes. Long hair, living in Vancouver. Uh, I, I, I live in, the, in New York. I live. I was in the hippies. Uh, I, I have still have that hippies thing, and that's why you said I'm psychedelic. Yeah. Because that's my background. Okay. Yeah, you okay? And yeah. Always stay inside of me. Me, I'm an old hippies. With I, I don't live like that anymore. I. I I don't do it. Yeah, but your past, your past is, uh, is still a part of your life. It's a remaining of your life and some things are inside us. Yeah, in my art it shows. Yeah, okay. So right now you are working with galleries and uh, uh, where can I find your artwork? Yeah, I don't like to be hooked with the gallery on also. Uh, I have my own gallery in my house. Uh, I sell from my house. Uh, my boyfriend, he do my. Uh, I have a website, online shopping mm -hmm. stuff, and uh, we don't really need gallery anymore. I love to do exhibit, but not be in the gallery. Be stuck in the gallery. Yeah, not exclusively. No, I don't like that. I, okay. I did that a long time ago, but me with the art gallery. Big conflict. Okay, why? They stole, they, they stole my money all the time. They uh, have tons of story I could tell you with the years. I, I've been ripped, ripped, ripped. They stole. Yeah, me. Uh, I don't like gallery. Now oh. when I when I go to the gallery, they, they have a big contract and they they have to follow the contract. Okay. Yeah. Me, 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 what I do now, what, what I do a lot, what I like to do is symposium. Like, uh, like uh, in October, I was supposed to be there in April, but in October with somebody, we, we rent a, a, a wall. You, like, you, you rent a wall in New York in the best art industry. That's one week. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. That's what I like. Uh, and it's, uh, it's worthy and profitable? Yeah. Really? Okay. Really. I do okay. that in Toronto also. I do, uh, I do the, the art festival. I love to do that uh, because me, I, you don't know, you don't see, but I sell lots of little things. Mm -hmm. like, uh, I'm doing that now. I'm doing a plate now. I'm doing a plate. Yeah, I, I, I find very curious that you, you, you work in almost everything, every kind of object, any, every, any kind of uh, uh, size from small to large. I think that is very, very curious. Do you still go to the studio every day? Can you take me through your creative process? Uh, me, it's simple. I wake up at 4 in the morning, 4 a.m. I'm at 4.15, I'm working. Okay, until? 15 hours a day. 
Yeah, 15 hours a day. Yeah, that's a, a lot of time. Every day. It's a three blocks of five hours normally because I take break. And mm -hmm. like this morning, I, I, I go with my bike. I have a wonderful life. I, I, I don't work for a company firm anymore. Five years ago, I quit. And uh, I'm a carpenter also. Did you know that? No. I, 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 I knew you, you worked with furniture. Uh, I, I, I built my studio here in the back. I do uh, all by my hand. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm a really busy person now. And I love to do that. I love to work. I don't like to do anything else than working. That's my most... That's where I'm good. Yeah. I, 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 I like to work and go out at night. That's my life. So you are happy with your life and your career? Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm a happy person. I could say that. Okay. Uh, do you have any suggestion or advice you want to leave to young artists and people who are starting an art career? Uh, me, I give course now. I, I love, I'm an I'm a art teacher sometimes. I, I love to do that. And I always say the same thing. You, you know, when I look at the thing, the theme of what you did, you, what, because now the, the kid, the young person, some are really good techniques. The technique is important. Mm -hmm. But the subject, it's more important than the technique. The subject, it's super important. And now sometimes the subject is a bit uh, too personal. You know, when you do something too personal, art too personal, it stay personal. You have to be more large. Me, me when I create something, I try to be worldwide. You know, when, when I create my color and stuff like that, Always think of that, you know, to be sell. Okay, I think it's a good advice, yeah, uh, to think outside of ourselves. Yeah, yeah, because uh, the, lots of artists, they, they, they are too close of his art. You know, they, it's too personal. The, it's good, it's good, you have to do that, but also... Very well, Ola. We reached the end of our conversation. Uh, I want to thank you for accepting my, my invitation to, to be part of this podcast. Uh, to, to everyone who's watching us, I hope you enjoyed this moment. If you do, if you did, please like the video and subscribe the channel. Uh, uh, and this is this was Artside Talk. I am Diogo Lando, and I wish you all well and uh, stay safe.